If you like The Eleventh Doctor, I've got some recommendations for you. One's a movie and one is a comic book. Uh, the movie is Brazil. It's a film that was made by Terry Gilliam. He wrote it, he directed it, and it's probably my favorite movie as of right now. Honestly, a lot of Stephen Moffat's writing reminds me of Terry Gilliam in that it's got immense humor and also really deep, depressing, dark, uh, morbid, um, horrifying themes throughout it. Brazil is one of the bleakest films that I've ever seen. <laughs> it's not a feel-good movie on paper if you just like outline the plot, but watching it is just a joyful experience because it's so funny and it's messed up and it's crazy and it's weird, but it's it's so great because it's got that same combination of high comedy and high tragedy that the Eleventh Doctor's narrative has. It's got amazing visual effects that are like super concrete as well as over the top and outlandish. There's surgery sort of things that are reminiscent of Cassandra on Doctor Who, which is not a Stephen Moffat Eleventh Doctor thing, I understand, but there are parallels there. It's an indictment of bureaucracy and, and a future that is a dystopia, but the populace believes so much that they're living like in the prime of civilization. They willfully go along with this horrible, horrible world in which they live because they just have to believe that it's okay. And the main character is unable to believe that any longer and sort of gets involved with the resistance group and hijinks ensues and really, really depressing, strange, horrible things ensue. But it's one of my favorite movies, if not my favorite movie, and I love everything about it, so you should definitely watch Brazil. The comic books that I want to talk to you about are my absolute favorite. I don't see anything topping Martha Washington ever for the rest of my life. I keep reading comic books because I love them, but I never think when I start something now, this might be my new favorite comic book. Martha Washington is an epic story. It was published over a period of like 20 years. Um, it follows this girl, uh, this black girl from a slum in uh, Chicago, and she goes on to save the world, and then the universe eventually. Uh, it is, again, high tragedy and high comedy. There's ridiculous things, like um, in the first portion, there's, there's wars between, like, the United States, which is no longer united, and they're fighting against, like, fast food corporations that have become a nation and have basically a big boy robot that kills people. There's also, um, the Aryan Thrust, which is a militant Nazi group. Um, and in addition to being white supremacists, they're also homosexual supremacists. So they feel like all people who are not gay white males should be destroyed. And it's absurd and amazing. Martha Washington didn't have to be as good as it is, but uh, it came to be the thing that it is through the collaboration of Dave Gibbons, who was the illustrator, and Frank Miller, who's the writer and is my favorite comic book writer ever. Gibbons was just coming off of Watchmen, and Frank Miller was just coming off of The Dark Knight. There was discussion about the idea of Martha Washington, and Dave Gibbons was initially very enthusiastic, but he, he pulled out because he didn't want to be known for just, like, dark, depressing stuff for the rest of his career, and he saw himself and Frank Miller falling into that trap if they went ahead with this collaboration. So Frank Miller, instead of giving up on the concept, came back months later with the idea of incorporating the fast food nation and, and outlawing of beef and the Aryan thrust and all of these just zany elements um, that provide amazing contrast. So you can be laughing out loud at one point, and you can be crying at another point within a few pages of each other. And yes, Martha Washington makes me cry, uh, especially Martha Washington dies. Um, her final words, I will not tell you, but when you get to that page and you read it, I defy you not to be moved. There's also an amazing tribute to Jack Kirby in there and uh, sort of to Captain America. It's so well written and so well illustrated. Um, one of the first examples of Frank Miller's works being illustrated with computer graphics. Um, and so like textures and stuff look really amazing. But the reason that I think that you'll like it if you like the 11th Doctor's narrative is because it is triumphant. It is 
showing how important and unimportant an unremarkable person can be. It is not her physical strength, it is not anything special that she was born with that makes Martha Washington so remarkable. She isn't born special, she makes herself special through the things that she does and how she reacts to situations. And that to me is the most important running theme in the 11th Doctor's narrative is like his companions aren't special. Like Rory couldn't have done anything differently. If he had lived one life, he would have lived it in the same way as when he was the last centurion. It's just his capability to do the thing to a greater extent changed, but what he did and why he did it doesn't change. It's just who he is, you know, amplified. And that theme is expressed in Martha Washington, it's expressed in Brazil, it's expressed in the 11th Doctor's narrative, just the idea that you don't have to be made special, you can make yourself special. And you can make yourself into an amazing person who does amazing things. So yeah, this has been the first installment of If You Like. I will probably do more of these videos uh, sometime when I come up with a few things that I want to suggest and what they tie into otherwise. So in the meantime, you should watch Brazil. You should read Martha Washington. It's been collected into one volume entitled The Life and Times of Martha Washington in the 21st Century. Uh, you get some one-shots in there. You get some short essays from Dave Gibbons about the different stuff and it's really well done but yeah do those things and i will try to come up with more things to suggest to you and i will see you later